welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I am going to be doing a new pour um, that I'm going to call the spiral pour, the spiral flower. Um, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and I will show you how it's done. So first off, I'm using my ice chip mold and um, I did go ahead and pour a layer of silicone on the bottom because it was getting bubbles around the edge from where the mold had been um, a little rough in a couple spots. So I went ahead and fixed that. I did try it once since I did that and it came out really nice. So it was definitely something to do if you do make one of these molds. I'll try to add it to the description um, for the one that I make because I do have um, directions for this one coming out. Um, and I mixed up 200 mils of Art Pro. So this part is clear for my push. This part is also clear, just a little cup. I'll give you the actual recipe. Um, if not on this one, then it'll be in the comments, I mean in the description on the next one. Um, this is Let's Resin Ocean White. And it's almost uh, opaque. If you move the stick, you can see the stick but closer to opaque than not. This is Liquitex Sap Green. And then this is Liquitex Carbon Black. And then I've got some just plain black stones. So let me get my paper towel here and we will go ahead and start pouring. It's cold in here, but I try to pull my sleeves up so I don't interfere. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna pour is I'm gonna pour all of the first, that little cup of clear in the bottom. That way, the colors that I pour in now have something to kind of float on and move better. At least that's my theory. I don't know if that actually makes a difference or not, but it's what I'm gonna do. It's how I'm choosing to do it. So if you choose to do it a different way, let me know. Um, I'd love to know if it works without this clear on the bottom. All right. There we go. So we've got that. Move my trash closer. All right, next color is, oh, I'm gonna make sure that this is in all of the edges. It looks like it is, but just to make sure gonna make sure it's all covering the bottom. Basically, that's all it needs to do is just be enough to cover the bottom. All right, so now I'm gonna take the black and this is where the spiral part comes in. I'm just going to pour a bunch of spirals going around and they're gonna overlap and that's a-okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just a bunch of little spirals. Okay, there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. I do try to get it even, but obviously I, I have a little more on one side than the other. All right, then I'm gonna do the same thing with the sap green. And what's gonna happen is when it um, combines with the black, it's going to um, make the green darker. And then the white is gonna make the green lighter. So it kind of ends up being closer to real color than it does if you don't have the black in there. Okay. And the black and the green, there's the same amount of resin in those two. There we go. Now, as you can probably guess by now, we're gonna do the same exact thing with the white. There is more of the white then there is the black or the green. So we're just going to, and this one you wanna try a little harder to keep, keep the amounts even on them. I tend to have a heavy hand 
when it's closer to me than I do the other way. So I'm going to try to pour it a little better. But you're just going to make spirals around and around until all the white is gone. And I don't know what my son is watching on the TV. He came home maybe 15 minutes ago and fell asleep immediately. <laughs> of course, he's been gone all day. So it's a little late at night and he's been gone for, geez, like 18 hours or something crazy. Maybe not that long, maybe more like 14. Still a long time to be gone. All right, so there we go, there's that. Now we're gonna do our push. We're just gonna keep an eye on the edge because I added that little layer of um, silicone on the bottom and I'm just gonna pour this in slowly. Um, because I added that layer of silicone on the bottom, it um, took away some of my um, surface area, not surface area, but some of the volume that I could pour in here. It pretty much fits 200. I just don't have to really scrape this out to get it to be full. So I'm actually doing okay on it. There we go. I don't think I want to do any more than that. All right, and then finally, I'm gonna take and put some of the black stones in the center. poke those down there we go I don't know what he's watching it's kind of annoying to be honest there we go now we're just gonna let it move in I did let my resin sit for it was 15 minutes and it was actually I actually got lost track of time and so it started to warm up it wasn't just not cool to the touch it was starting to get a little warmer than that so not a bad thing just probably didn't want to leave it any longer than that and it might account for why how it's moving so much easier than um, it has done in the past usually it takes a little longer to get going so that's just something to keep in mind it also has been really really cold here today it has only been like in the 40s so which you know being where I'm at that's just crazy because it's never this cold where I am all right, there we go. It's all closed up. Um, I'm not gonna put a time lapse on because it's not gonna do a ton more. It's just gonna kind of settle, but I will definitely see you when it's time to unmold. Okay, it's time to see what this beautiful pour did. You can see it closed up in the middle. It's, there's a lot of white there. Even though it seems it's like closed up on this side, on this one, I noticed that the inside on the bottom, the white was moving in for a very long time after I finished. Okay. Let's see how it comes out. Ready? Oh, wow. That came out so cool. I love that these are bigger, fluffier. Oh, I, I love how these turned out. This has got to be my favorite, favorite part. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. What do you think? It's got the sides. There's a, um, the ice chips. It's my ice chip mold. You can see on here where I covered, I poured an extra layer of silicone on here so the edges aren't so jagged right there you don't get as many bubbles caught up really cool really cool what do you think let me know in the comments thanks for being here i'll see you next time bye